See, there's a trend developing now. We, we debate the trade of the day throughout the duration of the show and then come to a conclusion. I'm hoping that you've come to a more speedy conclusion than you did last week. Look, the only one we couldn't have chosen was British Jamaica Tobacco because we had quite diverging opinions on that. We'll have to come back to that another day. I mean, certainly SAB Miller and Richmond were both portfolio positions we had in our hot stocks portfolio and we lost them because we got blown out to the upside. So not a bad thing. We've got to uh, take profit. Since then, Richmond has done well, but has pulled back a little bit. So that's the one that I'm keen to do. Are you keen to just hang on? Let oh. me check with your guest. Oh, very much so. Yes. No, you happy? Good, with the, the, uh, just yeah. checking. I don't yeah, yeah. want him to use any bullying tactics. But for those that didn't see the earlier parts, why don't we get Chris to give us the, you know, in a nutshell, the parts of Richmond we like? Radio, in a nutshell, sir. I think the fact that they're into Asia in a big way. They we, they got a bit of a fillip from uh, from America, which was uh, perhaps not uh, expected uh, this early on. Um, it puts out a lot of cash. It's, it's huge brand uh, functionality here. No, look, I think uh, there's very little that you, you can get uh, unexcited about. Even at these heady levels. Even yeah, at these relatively The heady only levels. thing that one must say about Richmond is it's not a very generous distributor of dividends. And part of that is the Swiss government's fault because they have a withholding tax of nearly 30% on dividends. So what we get out here is a bit attenuated. Any more interesting adjectives to be thrown at the Swiss government <laughs> as you did into Berlusconi? Those guys, really, come on, the Swiss, they should try harder. But as far as this company is concerned, uh, Asia, we're doing well. We've got a great distribution plan. Platform. We know the Chinese are mad about giving people gifts and Richmond went there early and established their brands like Cartier and Mont Blanc well with the Chinese. So those feature amongst the most popular brands in China. And the Chinese don't buy the stuff at home. They go to Macau when they go gambling or when they go to Hong Kong or they get in buses and go to Paris or to London and there they go shopping crazy. Or they don't even wait till they get there. They buy in the airport in I, Dubai. I, that's when what they I mentioned, through. in duty free. You can't get enough of the stuff if you are from Asia. Uh, let's just go back to your overall performance in the portfolio so far. You're up some 18% from the 1st of November. Yes, look, we did get a trade bonus from Global Trader of 4,000. So the real investment performance has been about 14% compared to the index. Market at 10. About 10. So look, we're keeping our nose. Oh, you're tracking ahead. quite well. Stay ahead of the market and you keep your job. <laughs> and I think the idea here is that assessment. we want to then go into the portfolio. So if people go to www or follow hot stocks, they'll see that whole thing with uh, signing up. Then they'll get these little video clips and the notes of the trades that we're going to do. So I'm hoping we can get into Richmond again at around the 71, 72 Rand level and see it back up to 80. Well, one, one thing you know, Paul, is that we are watching you closely.